on, everybody, Z here, and welcome back to some more Starbase. So last episode we uh, we got some things going, we got some things rock and roll, but um, I want to make a I want to make a quick episode, and this is gonna be a quick episode on some basic things that I am figuring out along the way. I've only been playing this like a little bit, but I figured out a lot of things along the way, and I've been seeing in chat, I've been seeing the uh, the Starbase Discord, a lot of questions about things. So first thing I want to do, and it's all about ships, it's all about the ships. So let's call my ship in here, and this is the ship that you're gonna be getting, and basically. Uh, you're gonna have a ship, right? It's gonna look just like this. Well, except it's not gonna have all the storage. It's not gonna have all the cargo because I mean we got cargo stuff. But let's talk about a couple things real fast, real hints, like you know things like that. So make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want more content, more stuff. Um, so there are a couple things. You're gonna hop in your seat and you're gonna notice a few things. You're gonna notice a fuel chamber, propellant, fuel chamber unit rate, and batteries. So let's talk about these because I got these very confused and a lot of people are too. Fuel chamber fuel is a fuel rod. Okay. So if I get out of the seat, this right here is the fuel chamber fuel. This guy right here. So if I hop out of here and I grab this and pull it out, that's what it is. Um, and then nope. I, I messed up. Hold on. We need to there. Um, so that's what that is. And basically what you need to do is you need to swap that out. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, well, well, how do I refuel that? You don't refuel it. What you do is you pull it out. Now, um, actually, I'll just show you right now. I'll show you right here right now. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hit. I'm going to look at the front side right here. I'm going to hit E. That's going to like pull it out and look like this. Now, if it's not clicking around like this, it's because you don't have snapping on. So you have to press C and then it should start clicking around, right? So then I just place it back in there. Now you have four extra ones on the spaceship. There's one there, which I already used. So you can see it's turned out or used up. There's one here. There's one also on this side over here, right there and right there. And if you need to use these, you can just hit E, grab it and look at that. It's good to go. You just go out, you go put in, put your new one in. That's all you have to do. But make sure you grab it by the flat side. Otherwise, it can be a little wonky on the clicking. So that's how you do your refuel. That is the fuel that you are probably running out of first. And the reason you're running out of it, we're going to fix the reason too. All right. So this is used for the generator. Generator is supplying your batteries. Now, the reason you're, you're draining so much fuel and we're going to fix that right now is because your generator is operating at 100%. It's operating at max capacity using as much fuel as possible. So we're going to change that by looking at this button right here. I'm going to hit U. That's going to bring up this guy. And then I'm going to hit tab to open this guy up. Now, um, I believe by looking at this, you should have this button on state value, which is 30. So if I change this to 100 and we save that and I click this button, this is going to allow the generator to spool all the way up to 100%. And you're going to see these numbers just go, whoop, they're just going to drain. Okay, so as you can see, it's 34, 35, 36. It's going to keep building. It's going to keep going. But I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. I want this to be at 30 because I want those generators running at 30% efficiency. And the reason for that is because 30 is enough to supply the ship with enough power to do all your stuff but it's going to extend the life of this fuel chamber rod that essentially the fuel rod by like three times. So make sure you get in here, make sure you do it. Like I said, all I did was I looked at this button, I hit you and it should, if you, if you need to, uh, you need to get out of here, you hit tab and that's going to free up your mouse. And then it should say like button on state. Um, if not, you might need to go to generator or you might just actually look for button on state, button off state value all this stuff but uh looking at it clicking that and adjusting it to 30 uh that's gonna give it so it'll i hit the button now and it's gonna stop at 30. that's gonna save you like a lot and i think it should be at d i should i think it should be defaulted that way personally uh, maybe they don't that way when you add stuff to it you're not gonna have an issue later but if you go through and add more thrusters and more things like that and you need more battery power keep that in mind keep in mind you're gonna have to raise this up so you might have to raise it to 35 percent or 40 or however much but now you're going to see that these are going to stop at 30. 
and now they're stopped at 30. It's still going to pull fuel because it's still running. Even though batteries are charged, it doesn't just click off. Um, but yeah, so that is going to save you a lot. Now, next question. Let's talk about refueling the other things. So let's say you actually do need propellant. You don't need your fuel chamber rods because you have your fuel rods. And if you need fuel rods, um, unfortunately, I don't think there's a, there's a way to get them as of like this point in the, uh, in the, in the early access, but right there that stores, there's going to be a place that has them available. Actually, we'll just pop down in there and look real quick. So in this giant marketplace right here, where it says stores opens, best prices guaranteed. This is where you're going to come to get more of those fuel rods. Yeah, my ship's going to despawn now. It's fine. Not worried about it. And then once the stores are up and running, I believe they're just offline for this initial launch because there's just so many people playing and they've had like all this server stuff going on is right here. It's going to be the star soul. And there's going to be a screen that you can interact with. It's going to be similar to like these, uh, but basically you're by like the cheapest one that I think it's like a tier one or something like that, or whatever tier it is. Um, the cheaper one, you're going to buy it and it's, yeah, that's how you're going to get more. So, um, as far as I know, as far as I know, cause it's some release, I haven't been able to buy one but you get like four of them in your ship. And if you turn down your rates to th like 30%, um, they're gonna last you a good while. But let's talk about the uh, the propellant and other stuff because people are always asking like how to do that. All right, so for me, this is where I actually initially thought that I had to go get fuel. And if you watch my first video, you'll realize that I did this and I was like, I don't understand how this works, but we're, we're getting things figured out here. So there'll be like these stations right here, these refill stations, kind of like all over the place. There's like one over here. There's one over there. They're, they're kind of all over the place. There are these like pink ones. And basically with these things, what you're going to do is you're going to come pop into here and a screen and stuff's going to like, that's going to load in. And then we can turn the generator off. Always make sure you turn your generator off. You're just wasting fuel if you don't turn it off. Um, and then what you have to do is you have to hit F on this guy. So you can, you're, you're hooked to your ship. And you go down here and you do the same thing. You hit F on this. Now your ship is connected to that and you could add propellant. You could add power. So if you're not running generators, like if you build your ship differently and you're, uh, you're not running generators, and you're just running batteries, I guess you could recharge this way. Um, but yeah, there you go. That's, that's how you, you do that. So for me actually can, let's just buy all, uh, I just used a thousand credits and now all of my propellant and everything should be good to go. And then we don't have to worry about untethering or anything like that because this is like a magical tether line. <laughs> it's magic. But yeah, you can see my propellant's good. Batteries are fully charged, whatever it is, what it is. All right, so now let's talk about if you get stranded. Let's say you run out of fuel somewhere. There is the option to get your ship towed back to you. Um, let's see if I can, hold on, let's see if I can pop out of here. Okay, can I get right here? Okay, let's see. We're going to hop out of here real fast and want to see if it'll show you the option. So say something happened, say you died, your ship is out there in the middle of nowhere. You're stuck back here. What have you? You're going to see your ship active tow. It's going to say towing price. Now this towing price, I believe for the meantime has been lowered. Oh no, it's not anymore. Okay. So it's 500. So if you don't have 500 monies, $500, 500, whatever the currency is here, I have 4,792. Uh, you can go get a job. <laughs> There's a little job. It's 500 credits. Doesn't take very long, like like five minutes, maybe. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna head right over there to those like blue and green buildings. It should say like work or uh, mine or earn money or something like that here. You're gonna look for those like blue buildings right there. That's how you earn some money. Easy money. <laughs> We're still tethered. <laughs> That's funny. Um, super easy money if you, you know, something happens like that. So. Easy way to get back, easy money. You shouldn't have any other issues. And now with building and stuff, uh, currently, if you are trying to build your ship and trying to do some shipbuilding stuff, uh, they are saying, do not bring in the ships that you buy from the ship store. So like if you're buying ships out of the store or whatever that aren't the, uh, the standard one like this, to not take them into this easy build hall. This easy build hall right now is causing those ships to break. So don't take them in here. Don't do it. You don't need to take them in there anyways, because I believe you can build anywhere. Once you put a, uh, once you put a crafting table on your, uh, on your ship. So like I have a crafting table 
I believe, right back here. Like so. Right there. That's my crafting table hiding back here. But I believe I can actually build on um, on the ship, like, in space now. So, yeah, super cool. But that's it. I just wanted to cover, like, some, some things. I'm hoping that maybe I didn't confuse people, and hopefully maybe people got some answers. Uh, we're going to have a regular episode come out. Don't worry. But I want to answer those questions because a lot of people are, how do you get fuel? Fuel rods. This is fuel rods. Fuel rods you have on the back of the ship. Fuel rods. Back of the ship. You have to carry them. You have to move them by hand. Propellant is at the pink stations. We got it. We're good. All right. Cool. Um, also, another thing. You know what? I'm just going to cover it now. If you go out and you want to... like, Say you go out and you buy a bunch of... Or you, uh, you mine a bunch of ore. You don't want... You want to sell it. Okay. Easy way to sell it is these towers. You see these big pink towers? They're like everywhere. They're like all over the place. Well, guess what? It says right on that tower. Oh, I, I left my generator off. Well, look at that. Ore storage. Can you believe that? They have ore storage right here. Yep, sure do. All you have to do is come over here. You can connect yourself up to uh, up to these guys. So as you can see, this all just loaded in. So basically, that was really close. Let's hop out. So basically, you could hop you hop in, uh, connect yourself up. right there look at that and you could actually choose to sell so ship or storage so ship it's gonna have a bunch of stuff it's gonna look like this you know it's a bunch of ore in there you can choose to sell it right here just whoop, sell it or you can throw it into storage to throw stuff into storage in your ship uh you don't have to be you don't have to be um connected to anything so all you need to be is in the within the vicinity of the station here and connect it to your ship and you can just pull up your uh, eye for inventory and it's going to show you right here this is your ship inventory so it's like connected containers ship inventory and you can just drag it over here you can just drag and drop you don't have to be connected to anything you don't have to do that um, but if you want to sell without like you know uh, bringing it to your inventory first you can just connect directly to here and sell whatever you got so uh yeah super cool stuff super easy super fun and hopefully helpful maybe hopefully those are helpful so uh, but yes, thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. I'm going to be playing a lot more of this. Uh, I'm super excited. Also, if you're curious, uh, research-wise, I still don't know what all these things are research-wise. That doesn't say anything. It doesn't tell you. However, I have been informed that this branch right here is actually the Starbase. So I believe we have to make this. And then I'm going to guess that's like a Starbase core. Uh, oh, Station Foundation. Station foundation inside safe zone. Unlocked items. This. Oh. Wait, did they? Oh, they did add. Basic unlocked modules. Basic unlocked modules. Uh, rack chip readers. Oh, they did add some text. Okay, super cool. Uh, but yes, this is the um, advanced crafting bench. Unlocks that item. And then there is your station foundation. So um, super excited about that. But yes, thank you so much for coming out. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.